Hello? Hey, John. What's happening? Oh, that's good. How is your wife and children doing? Okay, praise God. Um, I'm doing... I'm trying to hang in there the best I can. It's okay, John. You can ask whatever you want. Well, my body's feeling very weak from the cancer, and as far as emotionally speaking, the truth is, I've actually been doing terrible. John, I don't mean to sound rude, but you can't possibly understand what I'm going through, can you? Well, I, I can try. First of all, I feel very unloved. I, I feel completely rejected, not only by my own family, but by all of my Christian friends, by my church, by my old co-workers, by you. Sometimes I even feel like God has rejected me. I know a lot of this is the demonic spirits attacking me. I understand that. But even my own family has completely disowned me. I'm so sick and tired of Christians trying to preach to me Romans 8.28 that all things will work together for the good. Preaching is fine, John, but it would be even better if someone would simply show me that they care. It seems like nobody cares about me. Day after day, week after week, my telephone never rings. Nobody calls me anymore. And when I text my Christian brothers and sisters, very, very few of them ever even bother texting me back. No, John, you're wrong. Nobody calls me anymore to say hello. And the real truth is, it's because nobody cares. It is really easy to preach to someone on the telephone, but to show that you care. I mean to show that you really care takes a huge effort. It takes real love and compassion. And sadly speaking, very few Christians have that kind of love and compassion inside of them. John, listen. You have called me only one time in the last two months, and now you want to preach to me on the phone? You are being completely unfair here. Listen, you're not understanding. I feel like God has completely forgotten about me. I mean, look, you have a wife, I don't. You have a job, I don't. I'm too weak to work. You have two children, I don't. I always wanted children, I love children. God knows how much I love children, but I don't have any. You have a nice car, you have Christian friends and everything else. And besides all of that, you have almost perfect health. How can you possibly understand what I'm going through? John, where have you been the last five years while I've been sick with cancer? My doctor tells me I could die at any moment. The Bible tells me I'm healed. I'm sticking with the Bible. The problem is, there's no woman on earth who's gonna take a chance falling in love with me. I have no family, no friends. They all left a long time ago. I'm all by myself going through this terrible suffering and nobody cares. There is not a single person on earth who cares about me. Yet you have a wife and two children who love you dearly. So now, out of nowhere, after all of these months, you want to call me on the phone pretending you care? John, I'm sorry. 
I probably should have just kept quiet tonight. I know better than to talk like that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but once you met Susan four to five years ago, you stopped calling me. You stopped asking me to go out to dinner or to see a movie. I'm not blaming you at all. I, I do not want to sound mean or hurtful. I'm just trying to be honest here. Then your wife got pregnant with your first baby. Then the second baby came and I barely ever heard from you again. It's almost like you completely forgot about me, but not just you, all of my family and all of my so-called Christian friends too. I, I forgive you. I forgive my mom, I forgive my dad, I forgive my sister, I forgive all of my old friends, I forgive everybody. I did get the email you sent me with all of the healing scriptures. Um, I got them about six months ago. I, I really appreciate them. I don't know why I haven't been healed yet. I'm going over the scriptures day and night the very best I can. I study them, I'm continuing to study them, I'm not giving up. I mean, I tried to believe with all of my heart and soul that I was completely healed by the stripes of Jesus. I'm trying to hold on, but the years are passing by and I'm going through terrible suffering, loneliness, and, and especially rejection. I have no idea what is wrong here. Jesus healed everyone in the Bible, and I know he can heal everyone now too. Sometimes I feel like Jesus doesn't even love me, or it seems like Jesus doesn't want me. I know it is the spiritual enemies talking to me. I know I'm under attack, but it seems so real. Okay, I'll try to calm down. You're right, I know you're right. I'm not angry at God anymore. I mean, in the beginning, when I found out I had leukemia, sure I was angry at God, amen. I was, I admit it. But that was many years ago and I'm not angry anymore. I love God. I don't wanna be angry at Him anymore. Or at least I'm loving God the best I can with the grace that He is giving me. And I'm not giving up. In fact, right now, in the name of Jesus, I will live and not die. I will live. I am the Lord and I do not change. I healed everybody in the Bible and I hold the entire universe in the palm of my hand. Is there anything too hard for me to do? And when my Father in heaven asked me if I was willing to go to earth, to be born in a baby, and to die naked on the cross in a terrible death, you were the one on my mind. And I said, yes, Father, I am willing. From the time that you were born, all the way to tonight, I have never left your side. I have been holding you safely in my powerful arms every single moment of your entire life, and I am not going anywhere. Nobody is powerful enough to snatch you out of my hand because I am passionately in love with you. I am on fire for you. Even if all of eternity ended and there was nothing left of anything, I could never ever forget about you. Not ever. And one day soon, when you have entered into eternity, and you are with the only one who will ever truly love you, you will finally understand why you had to go through such a difficult trial as living with cancer. And 
we will be finally one in love together for all of eternity and nothing in all creation could ever make me stop loving you not ever I am the Lord who loves you I am the Lord who saved you I am the one who died for you